House Speaker Sean Jasper opened a portal to another time Monday, unsealing a vault at the State House that had been locked for decades. Inside, a trove of historical documents from the State Treasury, including ledgers dating back to the Civil War. I was expecting to find nothing, but to, to go and find the Civil War records of, of who purchased war bonds, I think, is, uh, is a nice find. In addition to financial documents, there were also medical and military records and mid-20th century promotional posters from the State Division of Economic Development. Since I've been a member in 88, we've always wondered about this. House Chief of Staff Terry Poff and the Speaker pushed to make the safe cracking a public event, and several dozen people showed up. It's exciting. I mean, you look what's up in there. I mean, the history of the state is living in that vault. It's still not entirely clear exactly how long this safe had been locked up. But the locksmith who cracked it, free of charge, says breaking in wasn't easy. This was a bear. Marty Russo says the 150-year-old lock failed after someone set the same two combination numbers back to back. The gates wouldn't line up just a hair, and they interfered with each other. Senate President Chuck Morse wasn't on hand for the opening, but decided to have some fun. His staff sneaking this portrait in between the time the safe was cracked and when the speaker opened it. What is this all about? <laughs> We're happy to have the Senate president still be here today. I wasn't totally shocked to see that picture of him in there. That was pretty funny. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.